David Fonjala i Louis Matare przyjechali do Krakowa promować swój najnowszy film Ja, Iś. Jest to film krótkometrażowy opowiadający historię mężczyzny w średnim wieku, który pewnego dnia zauważył, że otaczający go świat jest nienazwanym chaosem. Od tej pory postanawia przypisywać rzeczom ich nazwy, próbując tym samym uporządkować otaczający go świat. David, uh, can we say that the main character uh, is an extraordinary man? No, I, I actually think he has quite a, These are quite normal questions he is asking himself, or, or his needs are very understandable for me, because he wants to protect his family from this chaos that is coming. Now his tragedy is that he is thinking of a chaos that doesn't really exist. But, but how he reacts, I think, is, is quite natural. He, he really just wants the best for his family. Yeah, um, and could you tell me what is, uh, what in fact is his most problem? That's difficult to tell. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, it's basically this fear that has overcome him. That things are that we need to put names on things um, in order to prevent the world from the chaos. I think um, it's, it's something with, with all the individualism that, is, that was growing at this time when the story was, was written in 1917 um, and the loss of, of community within the society. These are all questions that many people were asking themselves and I think he is actually asking himself a similar question the question of if we don't talk, if we talk so much together but we don't talk about the same things because every everyone is an individual and everybody is is growing apart from each other the world gets more and more complex and there are many different point of views on things and he can't handle that so why is he uh labeling, putting this, uh, this uh, signs uh, on, on things. Why, why, why is he doing that? I think for him it's the most obvious way on how to react because he sees this sign, this park sign, and so for him it becomes clear that it makes sense to put tags on things. But isn't it... Uh, uh, some a little bit complicate making a complication uh, doing that I don't know <laughs> sure <laughs> sure sure so. yeah that's why it's a fiction film and it's not very naturalistic yeah it's, I yeah hope I hope nobody will <laughs> do that <laughs> in real life I hope but uh, people uh, are used to complicate complicate their lives uh, and uh, they we uh, did you complicate your life by uh, producing this movie? Yeah, <laughs> you could say so. It uh, <clears throat> it was uh, for it's a really small film, but for for that it was really ambitious because David wanted to create this this universe which is like somewhere stuck be between a, a far past and a contemporary time, and that that meant. Uh, from like decoration and all the settings, uh, that took quite a lot of time. And mm -hmm. that means also budget and... So it was the hardest part of the uh, production? Yeah, the financing is always the hardest, but I, I think the, um, if we would have shot like just on location and we could have made things much easier. But uh, they would want to have had this like concrete image how how this apartment should look like and and we like totally refurnished it and yeah that was like like constructing this world was um, plus there was on, on a technical level there's a lot of traveling sequences uh, which meant like for every shot uh, there's a lot of preparation time and yeah mm -hmm. And um, why did you decide to use short form? On I don't know. Oh, maybe first of all, because it is a short story. It's based <coughs> on a short story. It's four pages long, the story itself. 
So it's it's a very free adaptation, but the, yeah, the idea is uh, it's not mm -hmm. by me. And uh, could you agree with the sta statement that uh, short movies uh, have become more and more popular form recently? You could say like with with the internet culture, like with YouTube, I think the the short movie in a general term became much more popular than before. It's just, uh, but but there have to be made a difference between the like these these little formats on, on YouTube and and fiction films, which have a, a whole other approach. And thank you for your for the conversation. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.